find the value of a in 3 minus root 5 upon 3 plus 2 root 5 equal to a root 5 minus 19 by 11. This question looks quite similar to the previous one with only a slight difference looks a bit more complex which means it has a higher potential to scare you away which you don't have to as i always mention that you don't have to get scared of the question just by looking at it rather you should start solving the question so let's do this now looking at the question you have to first of all find the way out what will be your strategy to find the solution how are you going to attack it and move ahead in a process that gets the result without putting much of your efforts. This is an expression where we have two sides. One is LHS and the other is RHS separated with an equal to sign which means both the sides of this expression are equal. Looking at the LHS that is left hand side you can see that it can be reduced while RHS is already in its reduced form. Once we reduce LHS and we put it similar to the format of RHS, we can easily compare the two sides and thus finding out the value of A, which would be easy, believe me. Let's start this taking LHS, which is 3 minus root 5 upon 3 plus 2 root 5. A very common mistake students do in such questions, they just get a little blind to this 2. They miss it and they consider that this is 3 minus root 5 over here and 3 plus root 5 over here. But be cautious, this is not the case. Read the question very carefully before starting to solve it. Now the denominator has a term with root which means we need to rationalize the denominator and for that we need the rationalization factor which in this case would be 3 minus 2 root 5. We have just taken the term same term and change the sign from plus to minus so we get it in the form of a plus b into a minus b and we can use the identity a square minus b square when we will use b square this root will go away and that is why we are using this rationalization factor concept in order to keep the value of the expression unchanged we multiply the same rationalization factor in the numerator as well so that the value remains same you can see 3 minus 2 root 5 upon 3 minus 2 root 5 is nothing but 1 and any number multiplied by 1 always gives us 1 let's continue reducing it further so this is equal to here again we have this bracket that means the entire expression is to be multiplied. If you look at the numerator, we have 3 minus root 5 and 3 minus 2 root 5, which means we cannot use any identity here. So we are simply going to expand the bracket. So here we have 3. This will be multiplied with 3 minus 2 root 5. That means here we get 3 into 3 minus 2 root 5 next term we have minus root 5 and this has to be multiplied with 3 minus 2 root 5 divided by now in the denominator you can see we have 3 can be considered as a and 2 root 5 can be considered as b so here also we have 3 as a and 2 root 5 which is b. Here we have plus sign 
and here we have minus sign. So this becomes an identity a plus b into a minus p which is nothing but a square minus b square where a is 3 and b is 2 root 5. So using the identity in the denominator we get 3 square minus 2 root 5 square. We have simply used the identity a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square which is equal to reducing it further 3 into 3 we get 9 now 3 into minus 2 root 5 gives us minus because plus into minus is minus 3 into 2 is 6 root of 5 next we have minus root 5 into 3 minus into plus we have minus root 5 into 3 can be written as 3 root 5 then we have minus root 5 into minus 2 root 5 now here we have minus into minus which gives us plus root 5 into 2 root 5 so we can write here 2 and root 5 multiplied by root 5 divided by 3 square we get it as 9 minus 2 root 5 is square 2 square is 4 and root 5 is square is 5 moving ahead further we have 9 here we have root 5 and root 5 in both the terms so in order to solve it we can take root 5 as common since minus symbol is also there in both the terms we can take minus sign over here so here we get minus root 5 has been taken as common so we have 6 over here and here we have minus root 5 as common that means plus 3 plus 2 into root 5 into root 5 root 5 into root 5 is 5 and 5 into 2 is 10 so we get 10 over here divided by 9 as it is minus 4 into 5 that is 20 which is equal to 9 we can take this plus 10 now so we can write here plus 10 minus root 5 inside bracket 6 plus 3 gives us 9 divided by 9 minus 20 is minus 11 simplifying it further we get 9 plus 10 as 19 minus this can be written as 9 root of 5 divided by minus 11 which can be further written as if we just take the denominator with both the terms we get 19 upon minus 11 minus 9 root 5 upon minus 11 which in the next step gives us minus 19 by 11 as there is minus in the denominator this can be taken as the sign for the entire fraction because we have plus sign in the numerator next we have a minus sign here and we have a minus sign here so if we collect both that means it will get multiplied minus into minus will give us plus and we have 9 root 5 divided by 11 over here which can also be written as 9 root 5 by 11 minus 19 by 11 we have simply shifted the terms 
which doesn't makes any difference. Next, we can write it as 9 by 11 into root of 5 minus 19 by 11. So, this is our LHS in its simplified form. And what is RHS? RHS is equal to a root 5 minus 19 by 11. Now we have RHS and LHS in the same format. That means we can make a comparison. So here we have root 5. Here also we have root 5. Then we have minus symbol, we have the minus symbol. Then we have 19 by 11. Here also we have 19 by 11. What is left out? It is A. And here we are left out with 9 by 11. Which simply means that both these terms are equal because LHS is already given as equal to RHS. If LHS is equal to RHS and if LHS and RHS are written in the same format and we have made a comparison, that means only difference we have is A in RHS and 9 by 11 in LHS, which means this has to be equal and that is our answer. So you see, that is how you solve the questions in such a format. The only simple trick is first, don't get scared. Second, make RHS and LHS look similar to each other. Then make the comparison and find the value of A, which is clearly written out when you have the similar format and you get the solution you get the answer no complexities no problems and the answer falls straight into your lab you have to follow the right procedure and believe me study mail not anymore